Hello, you beautiful new Star Citizen player. Congratulations, this is your day. Have you ever watched Bob Ross paint? Well, that's what this video is gonna be like. Calm, patient, no cursing, just an informative getting started vid for new players with words of advice on how not to f***ing get scammed. Before we get started, if you know absolutely nothing about Star Citizen, you don't know what a website is, you don't know how to get there, you don't know how to download the installer, or to select a starter ship package, then you're watching the wrong f***ing video. Here, here, this is the video. This crappy video that I made the other week. This is the right video. Click on that. There's a link in the description below. That's This, this is the wrong video. Now let's select our first starting location. Well, where's a great starting location, Scott? Well, I'm going to tell you if you let me finish. We're going to start in Area 18, a location on the city planet known as Arc Corp. Well, here we are, laying in our bed in Area 18. The first thing you're going to want to do is get up. Well, how do we get up, Scott? The default key for this is Y. Don't ask why, just push Y. I know getting around and finding your way to locations in these large cities can be daunting at first, but I'm going to take your hand and gently nudge you in the right direction. Just pay attention because I'm not going to repeat myself. When you approach objects that you want to interact with, press the F key. How can you memorize the F key? How the fuck should I know? You did it. You left your coffin. Entering the main complex at Area 18 can be very impressive and overwhelming. But don't worry, I'm here. The first thing you'll want to do is take a right. Never forget, at any time you can hit the escape key, go into the options menu and select key bindings. No, escape, not tiled. Why are you hitting tiled? Are you trying to crash the game? Follow all the signs, see them? They're not in the game just for kicks. They actually direct you to where you need to go. When you see the big O ball, take another right. You see? Easy peasy. City Flight Transit. Congratulations. You just made it to the City Transit. Always stop to admire ships that you cannot have. We made it just in time for the tram. Doesn't this remind you of Cyberflunk? Well, minus the trains, of course. We never got the trains we are promised. Isn't this impressive? I know what you're thinking, but Scott, it's so big. All I can tell you is, that's what she said. So to keep this video simple, and since we're only learning the basics, we're going to go to the spaceport, retrieve our ship, take off, leave the planet, approach the orbital station, and land. It may sound basic, but navigating the cities, learning basic ship controls for taking off, using the in-game menus, and landing can be some of the most confusing things to learn in Star Citizen. <sighs> We've arrived. Let's go. Be sure to follow the signs. Sign, sign, signs. Always follow signs. Does this guy want a piece? What is going on? Do you want a piece? <sighs> now we access the vehicle retrieval terminal, the fleet manager. What do we want to fly? <laughs> Maybe we should choose the Argo raft. 
The Argo Raft is the only entirely rubber spaceship in the game. Did you know that? It's the only rubber spaceship so that it can float on watery surfaces like oceans. Did you believe what I just said? Did you not pay any attention to the title of this video? We're trying to avoid getting scammed. Don't believe such nonsense. The vehicle retrieval console indicated that our vessel is being retrieved and loaded onto Hangar 2. Take the Hangar elevators to Hangar 2. Signs, signs, signs. Always follow signs. Would Siobhan Henley please report to security? We have your luggage. Siobhan Henley to security to claim your bags. Elevators are the funnest part of Scam Citizen. But we're not getting scammed today, are we? No, we're not. Want your company to be in good company? Behold the Argo Raft. Look at it. Take just a few moments to appreciate the glory, the splendor of Star Citizen graphics. Isn't she beautiful? Once you're on board your ship, head straight to the bridge. And if you're in a starter package ship, you won't have to worry. Because as soon as you enter the ship, you're basically in every part of the ship, including the bridge. Always take a look at the co-pilot's seat if you're in a larger ship in Star Citizen. Look at the empty seat. The reason is, you're never going to have a girlfriend because you spend all your money on spaceships in a video game. The easiest way to go to flight ready status is to press the key R. I like to think R for ready. Here we are requesting takeoff from the landing services, so click the communication button. You are clear to launch. Pressing F4, no not 4, F4, are you trying to blow up your ship? Will take you into exterior third person view. Then you can press Z for Z to control your orbital camera. Pressing N will retract and deploy your landing gear. Because nothing says landing like N. Look at it. You did it, kids. You did it. Oh my gosh. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? I did it, Dad. I did it. I always wanted to impress you, Dad. Where am I? Right, right. Star Citizen. Looking at yourself from outside the ship. Isn't it cute? Look at how cute you can be. Pressing F1 will bring up your Moby Glass, which is a techie bracelet you wear on your wrist, almost like a handcuff, enslaving you to the UEE. Pressing F1 brings up the general menu, or F2 will bring up the star map. From here, you can select... No, 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 don't push that. Don't... <sighs> From here, you can select your destination. 
Zoom in with the scroll wheel to see finer details and locations, then select the location by clicking, then going up to the top and selecting set route. This will translate the location to the HUD, giving you a visual marker that you can then select for quantum travel. Once you have selected your destination on the star map, exit your MobiGlass and press the B key. Pressing the B key activates your quantum travel reticle. Align the reticle to your destination and then hold the B key to commence quantum travel. In this case, we have selected a destination of Bajini Point, an orbital station over our core. Don't worry, it's not a scam. Always approach slowly unless you enjoy death. When you are in close enough proximity to a station, your communications panel will illuminate with the location. Click the location communication tab to request landing permissions. Always approach and descend slowly for landing. Press the N button to deploy your landing gear. At this point, some evil peeps would tell you to press the backspace button. Don't press the backspace button. Never even think about the backspace button. Forget it exists. Forget I mentioned it. Never press the backspace button. Easy does it. Take it easy. It's not like the game's going to 30k. Once you have touched down on the landing pad, Pressing I will turn off your engines. Additionally, if you prefer, pressing U will also power down the ship. Press Y to exit your chair and leave your ship. Congratulations! You are now an official Star Citizen player. You are beautiful and welcome to the community. I know you still have thousands of questions. My recommendation is to go to the unofficial Discord. I'll leave a link in the description below. There you will find all the help your little heart desires, as well as hundreds of enthusiastic Star Citizen players. If you enjoyed this torture, I mean, vid, then please like, subscribe, share, and bell for the channel. If any of my content has helped you make the decision to try Star Citizen, consider using my referral code at the end of this video. What the fuck? What do you mean, no? 